giorno ok guys so it's my lunch break and I usually have lunch at my desk which is the saddest thing ever but hey what to do anyway I told my mom yesterday to buy me some yogurt because I wanted to eat that for lunch and she got me the flavor lemon oh my god I might just die I, I mean yogurt is already you know yogurt and plus you ate you eat you add it with lemon it's just I don't know if it's gonna be good or not anyway yeah usually at my lunch break I watch some YouTube so Bon appétit! And the reason why I'm eating just yogurt is because, you know, it's Friday and the weekend is coming and I usually pig out during the weekend, so yeah. See you later! The BB cushions here. Mm. Interesting. Right, so. Hello. Ciao. Let's see, let's see. Look, guys. Now, even before I had their own cushion foundation. I am so tempted, but then again, self-control. Nothing better than a brand new blue lip. Nothing better than a brand new beauty blender. No, say that 10 times. Hi guys, it's me, how are all of you? Wow, it's been a long time since I last vlogged, but I thought, you know what? I'm actually doing something this weekend and the next, so I thought, well, maybe I could vlog. So, yes, what's the story? Well, I filmed some footage yesterday of me, yesterday was Friday, so I filmed, you know, me getting ready in the morning and going to work, and then after work, I mean, I, okay, you saw me have my lunch. After that, we went to the mall and I picked out, I got McDonald's because, I mean, had to and then I went to Sephora because basically uh, May is my birthday month and um, Sephora gives me a present which is really really nice I really really like this thing of Sephora basically they give me 30 euros I can buy whatever I want and they will um, discount it with 30 euros and that's great so I bought a bunch of stuff well not not really actually I bought a beauty blender I've been wanting a beauty blender for a while but because I was on a makeup ban no beauty blender and you know beauty blender is one of those things that you need to toss out every now and again because as much as you want to wash it after a while it just gets yucky so I got a new beauty blender nothing better than a new beauty blender used it today loved it and then I got this Sephora I was in desperate need of something for my eyebrows I heard good things about the Sephora twist up eyebrow pencil which is somewhere and it's really good okay it's really really good um I'm a person that likes to be impressed uh, at first application and yes I was impressed today I used it for the first time and I am positively impressed it has nothing to be I mean it's just as good as the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz or the MAC uh, brow uh, pencil it's good so yes happy about that so that was basically my birthday present from Sephora, so thank you Sephora. And now I am going out for lunch, as I usually do. And uh, after that we're going to the cinema, and we're going to see Alice through the looking glass. Love that. Very excited to go and see that. Did you guys see that? And that's that. So yes, come with me.
I decided I was in need of a change. Hi dolls, how's it going? It's me. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and um, surely you've seen that I went to the hairdresser and I was in need of a change. So I thought, you know what, changing your hair color is actually a, a very good way to, you know, if you, wanna, if you need a change, you want to freshen up your look a little bit. So I decided to go for this purple. I'm not sure if you can see. It's a very subtle purple. I call it the classy purple because it's a purple that you can see in the sun but it's not too, you know, too into your face kind of a thing. So, yes, my mom is currently checking out some clothes, so I thought of um, vlogging. I hope you enjoyed the vlog so far. And I'm very uh, black and white today. I'm wearing my Stan Smith. I'm wearing this cotton uh, um, skirt from ASOS. It's very comfortable. I decided to go bare legs because I'm so white. Everybody's already so tan and I'm so white. It's embarrassing. Then a Chanel uh, white t-shirt and my Celine um, glasses. So yeah. Hi guys, it's me. How's it going? So it's the next day. And I wanted to show you guys um, a bit more closer my purple hair. I can't believe I actually went through and did it, but um, I'm very, very happy with the result. I really, really like the hairdresser that I go to. The staff is fantastic. They're all very kind and um, they are very like down to earth. That's the reason why I really like them. They don't put you like they don't make you feel uncomfortable and stuff like that. They know I'm not an expert when it comes to hair, but anyway. They did a great job. I showed them a picture actually of the hair I wanted, of the colour I wanted. And I just told them I don't want it to be too purple because I can't go Monday back to the office with completely purple hair. I mean I could but maybe me myself, I'm not prepared for that. So they did it and they did it in a very subtle, I want to say subtle way but you can see the purple. I mean can you? I hope you can. Obviously in the sun, my sister said that it's much more visible. Now I'm indoors, so there's only so much you can see. Anyway, loving it. And yeah, so I was in mood for a change and a change I did. And I'm very, very glad. I obviously don't have makeup or anything, so I really looked like, uh, I really look a bit washed out. But it looks great and I, I like it a lot. Anyway, I just wanted to check in with you guys and tell you guys that um, in about a month, I'll be off to Singapore. I'm going to Singapore for a holiday, as you might have noticed from the Lonely Planet that I bought yesterday. Anyway, I'm going to Singapore for a holiday because I have relatives in Singapore. I might be going to KL for a weekend, so that's going to be good. And um, I wanted to tell you guys my recent obsession. I've recently been obsessed with everything K-beauty. It's a phase I'm going through. I don't know if it's because I'm going to Asia and so I'm totally inspired. But thing is, I'm obsessed with K-beauty. By K-beauty, I mean everything that's Asian cosmetics. So it could be Korean beauty or Japanese beauty, Taiwanese beauty, whatever. I just say K-beauty just because it's more, it's, um, it's a more well-known kind of thing. But um, everything Asian beauty I've been obsessed with. And I really want to get my hands on many, many things. And actually, I've, I'm have i going to place some orders online as well because I have, I don't know, but I have a feeling that I won't be able to find some things when I go to Singapore or Malaysia. So I'm like, you know what, let me just buy some things online and have them shipped to my family. Anyway, let me just show you what I'm looking at. So the first website I'm checking out is obviously Sasa. Sasa is like a beauty store. I'm not sure if it's a franchising or what. But anyway, it's a beauty store that has, that's all over Asia and they sell a bunch of stuff. I remember when I went to um, Malaysia, there was a Sasa, a small one, but still I bought some really, really good things there and I plan to do the same this time. 
I already have a couple of things in my basket. Not everything because some things are out of stock. But let me just show you what I'm super excited about on this website. So the first thing I really, really want to get my hands on is this product, which is apparently very popular in Hong Kong right now. And the reason why I know that is because I'm actually following a girl that is from Hong Kong. Her name is Angel Bird BB. She currently lives in Switzerland because she married a Swiss, but she is from Hong Kong. And she says that back in Hong Kong, this is that um, currently the IT product. So I want to get it. It's by a brand called Suikan Hada, and it's a hyaluronic acid essence. This is another thing that I have in my cart. It's from IOPE, and it's their air cushion. Um, I'm not sure whether, whether I'm going to keep this in my cart or not. Uh, the reason why I have this in my cart, because apparently IOPE is is not sold in Hong Kong as a brand. Um, th they don't have a counter, which actually sounds pretty strange because I'm sure that's everything and more in Singapore in terms of fashion but uh, or beauty. But uh, I don't know. It's a bit difficult to get your hands on this. That's what I've read. I might be wrong, but just in case, I have this in my cart. And the reason why I want to get why I want to get the IOPE air cushion is because IOPE is the first brand that launched. The cushion foundation, so I feel that if I have to start from somewhere, I have to start from this. And on Yes, yes Style is also another website that I'm checking out. And I obviously have some things in this cart as well. I have, okay, the first thing I really, really, really want to get my hands on, I'm not sure if I can get this in Singapore, that's why I'm buying it online, is this Vanilla Co Clean It Zero. It's a cleansing balm to remove your makeup. It's a hit in Asia. Everybody loves it. And it's sold out on the Sasa website. That's why I'm getting it here. This is something that I really want to try. This is another big thing in Asia, which might, may sound kind of gross. But hey, I've read some good things about, not this brand in particular, but the whole snail moisturizing cream or gel. Apparently, snail has uh, huge benefits for your skin. I mean the slime of the snail. It Just by saying it, I feel like I want to vomit. But if it if it does good things for my skin, I'm, I'm going to try. So yes. Yeah, it gets great reviews as well. Uh, leaving skin is left moisturized and plumped. Uh, younger, smooth, natural shine healthy look. I mean, everything. And also, another thing I want to get is pink collagen. Do you know that pigs have collagen properties? I didn't know that. This is also very big in Asia. The Holika Holika Pig Collagen Jelly Pack. Apparently, it's a sleeping mask. You put it on and the next day, your skin is super plumped, moisturized, firmed. Yeah. Yes, please. I'm going to try it. Never would I have thought that I would be putting snails and pigs and all these things on my skin. But hey, I'm willing to try and I'm all for new things. Alright guys, so I think that's all for this vlog. I'm going to download all the footage and edit it and hope it comes out somewhat interesting. I'm not sure. But I did make, uh, make an effort to vlog because I know that I haven't vlogged in a long time. Reason being that really nothing much has to be going on. I said that already. When I don't vlog or film, it's because really nothing is going on. So, yes, I have to say, I did have a couple of good weekends. Alice Through the Looking Glass was a great movie. I'm happy about my hair. Yay! But yes, thank you so much for watching and for being here and for supporting me and for all your great comments. Uh, you guys are the best, really. I always say that I have the best subscribers. So, yes, until next time, bye-bye!